Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking you through a couple of my favorite products I've been liking lately. I don't usually do favorite videos every month because I don't have enough things, but now I do, so now I'm going to share them with you. So let's just jump into it. So the first thing I have are a pair of pants that you guys have all probably seen a million times on my channel, but they're these like harem pants, kind of. Um, they're just black and white print, um, they kind of taper in at the bottom. I wear these high-waisted, which I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do anyway because I don't care. I wear these all the time. I wear them, like, at least once a week. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but they're so comfortable, and you can dress them up and dress them down. I like wearing them with my strappy heels um, the best, which I have done a couple times. But if I'm just, you know, hanging out with friends or running errands or something, I'll wear them with my combat boots or I'll just wear them around the house. And they're just so comfortable, and they have pockets, so that's always nice. Um, and I just love them. They're from H&M. Then I have some hair care products. The first thing is this Dove Advanced Hair Series Oxygen Moisture Shampoo for fine and dry hair. I actually had to get new shampoo because every once in a while my hair just randomly gets oily, and I have dry hair, um, and I have red, and kind of proved to myself, um, that when you have oily hair, you're supposed to like fight fire with fire and get like a moisturizing shampoo. And so then I was like, oh, maybe I'll try this because it's made for dry hair anyway. Um, and I have really fine hair. I just have a lot of hair. Like it probably looks thick to everybody, but it's really like super fine and I just have a crap ton of it. Um, and this really helped to give me some volume and some life back into my hair because it was just kind of like pulling down, but this shampoo really helped. The next thing I have, which was actually sent to me, I just wanted to throw that out there um, before I talk about it, but um, it is this hair elixir from I, uh, Nicent, I think is what it's called. Um, it's just like an argan oil. First of all, it smells really good. It smells like, like, I'm really bad at describing things, but like honey and like candy, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But not like a weird like 13 year old's perfume. I just put a pump into my hand and do one side of my hair started from the bottom and then I do it on the other side. Um, it's supposed to combat frizz. I haven't really noticed a difference but I also don't really have a frizz problem. It's formulated for um, damaged blonde hair. I have noticed that um, it's kind of combated my split ends because with me growing up my hair I have a crap ton of split ends and it was really bothering me. So I was putting this on and it kind of has diminished a lot of them. I mean I still have some but there was a lot and now there's not as many. Um, so I don't know if it's supposed to do that but it did help with that so I've been liking this lately. The next thing I have is actually a perfume which I used to wear all the time in the beginning of college I think is when I bought this and I just rediscovered it in my purse and now I'm like oh why did I stop wearing this but it is the um bohemian scent from American Eagle which I believe they still make and I hope they do because I need to buy another one because I just have this tiny roll roll on one and uh there's like a tiny 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 amount left um so I need to go get an actual one um it smells so good like I am so bad at describing scents so probably be a bad description but it just smells like bohemian, like that's the best way to describe it. Like kind of floral, but like not too sweet. It just smells so good. And I just, I just can't help but wear it and I'm gonna run out soon and I am so sad about it. The next things I have, I have a lot of makeup items. Um, the first thing I'll do is this combo right here. It is the, um, Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Addiction, and then the NYX Butter Lipstick in Snowcap. And I'm wearing this on my lips right now. I wear this like almost every day. If I'm wearing something on my lips that's like besides chapstick, I'm wearing this. And I just love it. It's a perfect like 90s dark nude kind of um, Kylie Jenner lip color. Um, I just layer them on top. Sometimes I just wear the lip liner, sometimes I just wear the lipstick. Right now I have them both on. I just fill in my lips with the lip liner and then put the lipstick on top. 
and I love it. I am like obsessed and it's a problem. The next thing I have, which I actually did a video on recently, a review of, is the Maybelline Falsies Big Eyes Mascara. And I like this mainly because of the lower lash blush. No. Mainly because of the lower lash brush. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Um, but it's just perfect for getting those baby lashes because mine are so small and so like fair and I've been really into like accentuating the lower lash line um and this has done the job quite well. The next thing I have, I got a bunch of samples at Target the other day. The first thing is the Pixi Correction Concentrate um concealer and there's only a little tiny little knob here but I have like a billion of them because I took a bunch of them. Um, it's a um, corrector for your under eye circles, which you guys all know how much I love my Age Rewind Brightener Concealer. I like would write home about that. Um, but this is like just as good and maybe even better. Ooh. I don't want to say it because I love the other one so much, but I do like the formula of this one a lot because it's more of a creamy um, consistency while the other one is kind of like more liquidy. I mean, I love that one too, but, um, it's just great. And I say it's, uh, my eight hours of beauty sleep in a jar and I agree. The last beauty product I have is an old standby that I've had for a million years. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Makeup in Nude. And I'm almost out of this actually. Um, but I have been loving this recently, especially because dewy skin has been in, and I'm wearing this on my face right now. And I just think it's perfect for that dewy skin look because I don't really need to powder my face after I use this, and it doesn't come off, it doesn't budge. I do powder my nose and under my eyes just to lock in my concealer, and I have a problem with foundation coming off my nose, like constantly, it doesn't matter what kind it is. Um, so I powder that area, but that's about it, and it just kind of gives this nice, like you can even tell like this dewy finish right here, and I just really like it, and I've been into the dewy skin kind of fad right now. Um, so I would suggest this one if you're looking for something from the drugstore. And then as far as a few non-beauty, non-fashion related favorites, I have three shows. Yes, three that I'm going to talk about. Um, two are new to me, at least, and one of them is just an old standby that I want to talk about again. Um, the first is Red Band Society. I'm not usually into, like, medical dramas, but... I was just really intrigued by it, me and my mom and my sister like kept talking about it before it came on. We're like, we really want to watch that. When's that show coming on? Um, and it has held up. I mean, it's a lot of teen stuff. Maybe that's why I like it, because <laughs> I like things about teens, apparently. Um, but it's just really good. The first episode was very heartwarming. It's kind of dramatic. It's kind of, you know, sad. <laughs> um, but not as sad as you think it'll be. It's kind of, you know, like cherish your life kind of things, which I also like. Um, so that's really good. And the next thing is Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which I didn't watch for some reason. And then my cousins came in and then they were ranting and raving about it, so we kept watching it like every single night before I went to sleep. And it's so funny. Like, if you haven't watched it, you need to start because it's hilarious. If you like Andy Samberg especially, which I do, um, he's very good in it. I mean, they've won an award for the show, so I mean, come on. And the other show I'm going to talk about is my good old favorite, Walking Dead, because it's been so good this season, and I'm obviously not going to say anything, but it's been so good. Like, if you watch it and you were kind of let down last season, um, you should try watching it again, because it's gotten really good, and definitely not the same as the last half of last season. All right, and then that is it for my favorites video. So I will link my past two videos at the end. One is a tiger costume tutorial, which is kind of moot point now that Halloween's over, but if you want to watch it, there it is. And the other is just an outfit of the day that features these pants, if you want to see them in action. Um, so please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week. All right, bye. I get full of poetry. I've 
got a head full.